Hello everybody, my name is Karibro. Welcome back to Pokemon Y Blind Nuzlocke Rewind into the castle. Let's do it. Hi, Shoebots. An acquaintance of yours? Wait, I'm not a little girl. Two visitors to Shabano Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, Chateau, if you will, was a manor house of a noble family. Maybe a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. That's the excuse we give for not having to upkeep it. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone, so that's why it feels so empty. The end. That's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Evolution? Hmm? That was a weird that's it. Sir, it's back again. Is it that time of year already? Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and have a look around. I wonder what that's about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? Because he said we should take a look around, duh! There might be looting to be done. See? See? I'm already looting. Look at this escape rope. This is grand old stuff right here. It's a bedroom! It's all blue! I like blue. Can I sleep on the bed? I cannot. Cool. Shabano's past. Shabano's future. It wasn't that it actually said Berry Paradise, but still, this place this place looks big, but these rooms are filled with a whole lot of nothing. And also, there's, it's kind of just one hallway on the second floor. What is this big space in the center being used for? There's no doors that lead to it, and the stairs lead north. It's just a giant stone pillar? This place is confusing to me. Can, can now I leave? Can, yes, now, now I can leave. Route 7, Riviera Walk. Let's catch another poker mans. They said they were going this way. Really? But I want to go this way. But, uh, but, but can, you, can you not count? That way is Route 6, this is Route 7. We need to go to Route 6 first. 6 comes before 7. Silly girl. All right, fine. Hello, Snorlax. What is it? <sighs> Here we go again. It's sleeping so soundly the end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Except that we can totally step around it. It's not even hard. Come now, sir. Use the poke flute. Oh, wait. Do you even have it anymore? Nope, I handed it over to somebody who doesn't live in this town. I was like, you know what? We have problems of Snorlaxes sleeping on our bridge all the time. So much that I have a man dedicated to come and tell me about it. And this poke flute is the only thing that can solve that problem. But I tell you what, I'm gonna give it to you, wandering traveler. That seems like a good idea at this time. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. What's a poke flute? <laughs> Basically, the poke flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the Poke Flute is currently a Parfum Palace. All we need to do is go get it then. Come on, Shoebots, let's go. The Parfum Palace is just past Route 6, and maybe at a place like that we might learn something about Mega Evolution. Just, I, I, I literally just, just told you. I, I just, I just said we should go that, hold on. I, I just said we should go that way, and you got in my face about it. Ah, you're the worst. It took an embarrassingly long time to get lined up and staring at her from a proper diagonal. <laughs> All right, let's go to Route 6. Parlay, Palais, Palais Lane. All right, who have I got in the front slot on Pokemons here? Cherbits is, uh, okay, Aquaman needs his level 14, so you lead now. Palais Lane is, actually has two very different faces. One is the easy stroll here, and the other is, well, I guess you'll find out about that on your way back from the palace. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it is this path that you have to take through a bunch of crazy tall grass. Because that sure does seem like what's gonna happen here. That said, maybe I'll hold off on catching a guy until I have to make my way back. I happen to be a seasoned battler too. Yeah, so I'll, I'll fight the trainers on the way there and then I'll, I'll catch the thing on the way back. Oh, you are actually an older woman. All right, tourists sent out Pikachu. Aquamine might not be a good idea against this Pikachu. 
You probably know Thundershock, don't you? Don't ya? All right. Well, Kubutz needs to uh, get a bit ahead of the pack again. Can't really lean on him if he's staying at the same level as everybody else. So let's fix that. Nothing I have will be super effective. 60, so that said, I should just take the 45 so that it gets the most attack power it can get because of stab increase. And also, I resist your Thundershock. That's the main point. Alright, Kubats gets level 15. Uh, one more point in attack, that's not too bad. Ooh, Leech Seed. I think that'll actually be worth it. Steal some HP from the target every turn. Yeah, just, just for, like, having it out there and consistent leeching. I think I'll drop Growl for that. Tourist sent out Pidgey. Now, though, you've got an advantage on me, so it's swap time again. Lord Dunce has a rock move to deal with you. So let's continue spreading that EXP around. I can also take tackles to the face and not even know what's happening to me, so that's a big plus. Didn't think I would be faster than it. Oh well. Opposing Pidgey fainted. Lord Dunce got 117 and hits his level 15. Yes on that defense. Yes on that defense stat. I'm very happy with that defense. Tourist Hiroko sent out Psyduck. Alright, so I could swap back to Kubuts again. No, wait, I can't because Lord Dunce is just going to keep doing his rollouts. He might just finish up the rest of this trainer with this. Yep, there we go. What? How dare you? I'm just here trying to take a bunch of nice photographs. Also, I look nothing. Nothing at all. Like my in-battle uh, picture. What about you? Why do I battle? Why do I travel? Allow me to demonstrate. Challenged by tourist, Eriko sent out Zigzagoon. All right, well, I've got two Mons that have hit uh, their level 15 now. Aquamon is still 13, but you're very close, so I'll let you take this one out on your own. Even with stab damage, that is not a lot of power. Huh. Oh, well, Aquamon got his level 14. What do we got? Maybe that's why. You're getting more in your... No, your special attack is higher. You've got a bunch of 20s. You're, like, well-rounded. But that doesn't... No one spot is really standing out and shining. Aw, hello, Ralts. You're the pre-evolution one of my favorite Pokemons ever. Is Ghost super effective against Psychic? I think it is. Nice. And down goes the Ralts. Only 93, it's not very good. And another one of these guys. I still don't, maybe I should check my decks on what this thing is, because I have no idea and it's bothering me. Oh, and you're gonna start pulling this yawn nonsense too on me? Really? My water gun already will take four turns to kill you. And now I'm gonna get locked down with sleep. This is this is annoying. Your pounds do not insignificant damage either. Yeah, that's like five. I've only got a couple more rounds in me. 
There we go. Way to be, Aquaman. Wake up. Ah, all right. Good, good. Got him down in three turns. So Aquaman got this entire trainer to himself. Did you see your Pokemon smile just now? I did not. He's looking the other. He's looking away from me. I can't see that. Traveling around the world because I love seeing Pokemon smile. That's a nice thought. Don't really care, but that's a nice thought. Parfum Palace. And this is the way back out, right? Why? Why Why do they make you take a separate route? Like, the other way out is right here. Or right... Why are they all exits from... Ah. Uh... Oh, there's probably items or something in those other routes and you literally just can't get to them from the center. Indicates a photo spot. You can call Phil the photo guy over and he'll take photos. No, I don't want Phil the photo guy. Phil's weird. It smells like beer. I'll share an Oran berry with you. Feed an Oran po berry to your Pokemon, it will recover some strength. And if you let them hold it, they'll recover some during battle. It might be good to just give my Pokemon some berries then. Just for the sake of having them. Old building's more important than people who are alive now? I would argue no, but there are some people who have some really messed up priorities. I like to live in that kind of palace. I wonder how much money it takes to build a place like that. An inordinate amount, I assure you. And the entrance fee will be 1,000 per person. You've gotta be kidding, it costs money to go inside? You see, the owner of the palace follows a school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yeesh, this is how the rich get richer. Yeah, you don't say. You can never have too much money. Wonderful. Here's your entrance fee, a thousand. Really? She just had that kind of money kicking around? The proceeds from the entrance fee help pay for repairing and restoring the palace. Probably. <sighs> Do I just get to come in infinitely then? I better be able to. Some bull honky. What if I didn't have the money to do it? What if I spent it all on potions or whatever? What would happen? Oh, it's that thing that, uh, Lucimine had. Where could it be? Mr. Furfrau! My beloved little Furfrau has disappeared. That's that dog thing that I fought, right? We should help look. I mean, if my if mine was missing, I'd be sick with worry. Yeah, but I- see, here's the thing. Girl whose name I don't remember is I don't care. I'm here because you told me to come here. I just want to figure out the thing that lets me get to the next gym. Don't try to sleep in the king's bed, it's irregal. Are you trying to use a mean look on me? Yes, I am. That was horrific. I was trying to think if there was any, um, any Pokemon that started with horror, and I, and I had nothing. Also, I just slept in the bed. So, uh, yeah. Eat dicks, man. I slept on the royal bed. It was comfy as shit. Are there gonna be a bunch of trainers in here? Let me really quick make sure that uh, I get a good mon in front here. Let's just let's get Kubats to 16. The owner of this palace only inherited it, you know. It's not as though he earned it. Just because the parents were great, sure does not mean the children will also be great. In fact, the opposite is all often true. Nothing spoils a person quite like having money they didn't earn. And never had to work for. Just kind of get used to living that way. And bossing people around because they have money. I heard that a king from long ago whose garden was his pride and joy. He gathered the castle folk and hold garden parties. See, that sounds nice and awesome and friendly. You need a pretty amazing king to build a palace like this. There's an awful lot of gold in here. I wonder if Pokemon slept in this bed. A good bed is a bed in which you can get a good night's sleep. I'd probably be so uneasy in it that I wouldn't get a wink. Eh. I feel like I could sleep on a bed that's just nice and soft. My current bed is a little bit too much on the firm side. I got a soft bed. But, uh, I also weigh, like, next to nothing, so even a soft bed, like, feels firm to me. I need a super soft bed. I just don't weigh enough to make an indent in it. 
I heard that a forbidden tome once existed that contained the secret to bring Pokemon back to life. It's probably just a rumor, though. We've certainly got nothing of the sort in our library. We are better than that. Our Pokemon just never die. Sure, buddy, sure. Long ago, the king and his Pokemon would enjoy their meals at this table. Hmm. Weird to have a room with only one entrance to it, like a dining room. I thought they, they usually had one that guests could enter into and one from like food or staff or several different ways to get in. It's just like, nah, we're gonna put the dining room in this closet. I mean, it's a view of a garden, sure, I'll give you that, but it's nothing that crazy. It's not like a beautiful natural mountain vista or whatever, it's just somebody built a garden and then put a balcony over it. The mirrors in the hallway reflect the scene in such a way it looks as if there are two balconies. Said the kings of ancient times would use Pokemon as sentries. I bet they use Pokemon with the insomnia ability since they never have to sleep. They were also completely useless as guards because there's only so long you can pay attention and you know, be effective. It doesn't matter if you technically can't fall asleep. You're still not really gonna get anything done if you just never rest. Every meal's a feast. If you never know anything like that, a meal like that, anything else meal like that seems completely normal. That's just what I was just saying. I think it'd be so much better if he had a lively dinner with everyone instead of a full course meal alone. Yeah, so he eats this giant feast because that's all he's ever known how to eat. He eats it totally alone, so I bet he throws out a ton of it too. This, the owner of this palace, whoever he may be, is a spoiled little rich bitch. I'm sure of it. I think I'm just about through exploring everywhere, right? Jewels and metals, gold and silver works. Whoa. Thanks, dude, for your stunning commentary. What's special is it isn't the beauty of the architecture, it's about how the paintings and sculptures work in harmony with their surroundings. Yeah, way too much gold and yellow. It's like painful to look at. Pride and joy of the palace, the, va the too vast courtyard. At least he knew how to name it. I'll have a look in back. Don't you be coming in here and stealing my glory. I just looked through the whole palace. You had all that time to try and check in here and you did not. Fine young lady. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be trainer battles. They gave me a hotel stop inside the uh, inside the place to res to restore myself. So I've got more mazes to work with, and no, folks with the bug badge can use the move cut to chop down trees with prickly thorns. There's an HM for cut somewhere in the garden. You can take it. Somewhere in the garden, he says. Maybe maybe it's right over there. Maybe it's about ten feet away. I'll never tell. All right, so now I need to set someone up with Cut, and I can't forget Cut very easily, so I might need to make use of an HM slave. I wonder how many people in Pokemon it takes to make a garden this big. Probably thousands. I bet a bunch of them are uh, buried underneath as part of the foundation. I found it. Oof. He's making clopping sounds. Please don't run away. Shubats, give me a hand. A hand how? The path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up, chase for a frown corner it in there. I'll keep it from getting away, so pick a spot for me to stand. Somewhere like over there, over there. Let me know when you've decided where I should stand. If two of us work together, we should catch solve this puzzle and catch for a frown. Because when an animal runs away and is scared, you know the best way to try to get it back is to corner it and make it feel threatened. Yeah, just just wait around here. I'll come this way. Chase it this way. For real? For for reals though? I don't believe this. It's not actually cha changing anything. He's just running. Like, know what I think? This is a puzzle. We have to corner where the path leads to a dead end. Maybe I should wait by the entrance. Okay, I guess, yeah. That makes some amount of sense. Because it keeps ta trying to take like that... Yeah, that it just keeps taking a shortcut back to the entrance. 
Maybe it would be better if I waited over there. Oh, now I need to pick her up and move her again. Thank you for at least giving me a hint, because I thought you were hinting that you should stay in one of those places to begin with, and then I set you there. And then it didn't work, and I was very upset. We finally caught it. Shibats, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. No, we didn't. I caught it because you told me how the puzzle works. Oh, my dear Furfrau, my beloved Furfrau. Could it be you two responsible for my wonderful, wonderful reunion with my dear... <sighs> This is just, this is just draining what energy I still have tonight. How wonderful indeed. It's marvelous, simply marvelous situation like this demands fireworks. We should put in a show. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. Run away the balcony. You understand? Rendezvous. You can reach the balcony from the hall with mirrors on the second floor. This guy seems like a bit of an asshole. Maybe Furfrow would have been better off if we hadn't found it. Yeah. I'd hate to have a trainer like that, but I love fireworks. Let's make the best of it. It's not like fireworks cost a lot of money or anything. It's not like he's wasting so much time and money and resources just for this. I hate people like that. Kalos region and the Innova region must be in contact with each other. Pokemon statue near the entrance is Reshiram, and this statue is Zerkrom. They're both legendaries of the Unova region. So these are the ones from black and white, right? I think so. Anything back here? There is! Haha! -ha. Found a guard spec. So can I... Yeah, yeah, I can't use the roller skates in here. So that mildly sucks. I'm gonna continue exploring before I go back to the fireworks display. Oh, okay, so these are trees that I could cut, I bet. Well, I got the one antidote, so happy about that. And a whole bunch of nothing else important. Great. <laughs> well, let's go back and see the fireworks display then, I guess. Is it outside? Okay, cool. So I can go back in any time. Just wanted to make sure of that. Right, those are walls. Forgot about that. Where did she go? Oh, right, she said to go to the balcony. All right, well, I'm, I'm wasting a lot of time running around. This is a good spot to leave off this episode. I'll come back next time once I make it back up to the balcony. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button down below. Please do consider subscribing if you've not already. Feels like a lot of running around pointlessly is happening so far in this game. Might be starting to understand why people thought this one was a little bit uh, lax on the uh, on the compelling narrative.